This much space junk is really orbiting Earth. More than 27,000 bits of orbital debris or space trash are recorded by the Department of Defense's Global Space Surveillance Network (SSN) sensors. Due to the extraordinarily high speeds at which the debris and the spacecraft are moving, 15,700 miles per hour in low Earth orbit, even one little piece of orbital debris colliding with a spacecraft might have serious consequences. If there is too much space trash in orbit, it could start a chain reaction in which more objects collide and create new space junk, eventually rendering Earth's orbit uninhabitable. In this video, we will explore just how much space junk is orbiting Earth and what the consequences are. We will also talk about ways you can help prevent this problem from getting worse. In this video, we will explore space junk is really orbiting Earth. In September 2019, the European Space Agency completed its first satellite maneuver to avoid colliding with a mega constellation. It's uncommon to need to stay away from active satellites. Space debris is becoming more prevalent which raises the risks to all spacecraft, including the International Space Station and other human-crewed spacecraft, like SpaceX's Crew Dragon. NASA has a well-established set of standards for handling each potential collision risk to the space station because they take the issue of collisions with space debris seriously. These guidelines, which are a subset of a larger set of tools for making decisions known as flight rules, outline when the anticipated presence of a piece of debris raises the risk of a collision to the point where evasive maneuvers or other safety measures are required. Before we proceed, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content. In order to subscribe to new video alerts, click the bell symbol. Have you already put it into action? Let us continue. Space debris, often referred to as space junk, space pollution, space waste, space trash, or space garbage, is a term used to describe abandoned, human-made objects in space, primarily in Earth's orbit. These include disused spacecraft, abandoned launch vehicle stages, mission-related trash, and fragmentation debris from the destruction of disused rocket bodies and spacecraft, which is particularly prevalent in Earth orbit. Other types of space debris besides abandoned human-made objects in orbit include pieces left over from collisions, erosions and disintegration, or even paint specks. Solidified liquids ejected from spacecraft and unburned components from solid rocket engines. Risks to spacecraft are posed by space junk. Space debris is often a negative externality, meaning that using or launching a spacecraft into near-Earth orbit has an external cost on other people that are typically not considered or fully accounted for in the cost by the payloads or launcher's owner. Space debris has harmed several crewed and uncrewed spacecraft. Some players in the space sector carry out the measurement, mitigation, and potential removal of debris. In orbit above the Earth as of January 2021, there were 21,901 artificial objects, including 4,450 operating satellites, according to the U.S. Space Surveillance Network. Nevertheless, they are only the atoms that are big enough to be tracked. In orbit around the Earth as of January 2019, it was projected that there were more than 128 million bits of debris smaller than 1 centimeter, 0.4 inches, 900,000 pieces between 1 and 10 centimeters, and 34,000 objects bigger than 10 centimeters, 3.9 inches. Space agencies occasionally refer to micrometeoroids and the tiniest artificial space debris particles, paint flecks, solid rocket exhaust particles, etc., as MMOD micrometeoroid and orbital debris. The smallest debris particles can inflict damage to spacecraft comparable to sandblasting, especially to solar panels and optics like telescopes or star trackers that are difficult to shield with a ballistic shield. Most of the debris, denser than meteoroids below 2,000 kilometers, 1,200 miles, Earth altitude is composed of dust from solid rocket motors. Surface erosion debris like paint flakes and frozen coolant from Soviet nuclear-powered satellites. By way of contrast, the International Space Station orbits a distance of 300 to 400 kilometers, 190 to 250 miles. But the two most recent major debris events, the Chinese Antistat weapon test in 2007 and the 2009 satellite collision, took place at an altitude of 800 to 900 kilometers, 500 to 600 miles. 
Whipple shielding on the ISS protects it against minor MMOD, but known debris with a collision probability of more than 1 to 10,000 must be avoided by rotating the station. What is space junk? Both natural meteoroids and artificial orbital debris are included in the category of space debris. While most manufactured debris is in orbit around the Earth, thus the term orbital junk, meteoroids are in orbit around the Sun. Any human-made item in orbit around the Earth that is no longer usable is known as space junk. Non-operational spacecraft, abandoned launch vehicle stages, mission-related junk, and fragmentation debris are examples of this debris. Over 23,000 objects the size of softballs are now in orbit around the Earth. They can move up to 17,500 miles per hour, fast enough to harm a satellite or spacecraft, even if it's only a little piece of orbital debris. There are around 100 million bits of debris that are 0.04 inches or 1 millimeter or larger, and there are 500,000 pieces of debris that are the size of a marble or larger, up to 0.4 inches or 1 centimeter. Even additional debris with a diameter of 0 0.000039 of an inch or less is present. Even minute paint flakes can harm a spaceship when moving at high speeds. As a result of damage caused by substances that were later determined to be paint flakes, several space shuttle windows had to be replaced. In reality, for most robotic spacecraft operating in low Earth orbit, millimeter-sized orbital debris poses the greatest threat to the completion of their missions. Debris from a French rocket that had detonated 10 years previously struck and damaged a French satellite in 1996. An operational American Iridium commercial spacecraft was destroyed on February 10, 2009, when it collided with a defunct Russian spacecraft. More than 2,300 pieces of big, trackable debris and several smaller pieces of debris were added to the inventory of space junk due to the collision. More than 3,500 pieces of big, trackable debris and many smaller pieces of debris have been added to the debris problem due to China's 2007 anti-satellite test, which involved using a missile to destroy an outdated weather satellite. How much space junk is orbiting Earth? More than 100 million particles orbit Earth according to NASA. Even though most of that material is smaller than a penny, there's still a lot of space trash. Many of the fragments have a diameter of more than a foot. They are all traveling through space at a speed of at least 4 miles per second, each second. Where is the source of all that trash? Described, it is meteoroids, paint flakes, bolts, human excrement, etc. More formally, according to NASA, space debris is made up of parts from old spacecraft, upper stages of launch vehicles, Carriers for multiple payloads, debris intentionally released during the separation of an aircraft from its launch vehicle or during mission operations, debris produced as a result of collisions or explosions involving spacecraft or upper stages, solid rocket motor effluents, and tiny paint flecks released by thermal stress or small particle impacts. Some space debris is the result of collisions or orbital anti-satellite tests. Many new pieces of debris can be produced when two spacecraft crash since they can shatter into thousands of new fragments. Although it's uncommon, numerous nations including the USA, China, and India have practiced destroying their satellites with the help of missiles. Numerous new harmful debris pieces are produced as a result. What dangers does space debris pose to space travel? Fortunately, space trash does not currently represent a serious threat to our exploration endeavors. Its greatest threat is to other satellites that are in orbit. These satellites must maneuver out of the path to avoid being hit and maybe being damaged or destroyed by all this approaching space junk. Every year, all satellites, including the International Space Station, ISS, where humans live, conduct hundreds of collision avoidance maneuvers. Fortunately, collisions happen seldom. A Chinese spacecraft was destroyed in a collision in March 2021. Before that, in 2009, a satellite collided with space debris and was obliterated. There's not much space debris in the universe, but none interferes with exploring the solar system and beyond. How can we eliminate space junk? The United Nations require all businesses to remove their satellites from orbit within 25 years of the completion of their mission. However, because satellites can malfunction and frequently do, it's difficult to enforce this. 
numerous businesses worldwide have developed creative methods to address this issue. These include bringing down and burning satellites that have reached the end of their lives so they can be removed from space. We could accomplish this by harpooning a satellite, entangling it in a massive net, grabbing it with magnets, or even shooting lasers at the satellite to heat it and increase air drag causing it to fall out of orbit. These techniques though are only practical for sizable satellites orbiting the Earth. We need a technique to clean up smaller pieces of trash, like paint and metal fragments. We merely need to wait for them to return to Earth's atmosphere organically. In the future, will space trash be an issue? Mega constellations, which are huge new groups of satellites being planned by several firms, will transmit the internet to Earth. To provide satellite internet service everywhere, these businesses, which include SpaceX and Amazon, intend to deploy thousands of satellites. 50,000 more satellites might be in orbit if this project is successful. This also implies that more collision avoidance maneuvers will be required. The European Space Agency maneuvered its first satellite to steer clear of a mega constellation in September 2019. It is uncommon to need to stay away from active satellites. We can lessen the issue of space junk in the future by ensuring that satellites are removed from orbit promptly once they are no longer functional. We can study our planet, communicate, and more thanks to the Earth's orbit. We must use it wisely so that future generations can also profit from it. There is a developing issue with space trash that needs to be addressed. The quantity of trash around our globe is exponentially increasing as more and more satellites are launched into orbit. Over 250,000 bits of artificial space trash are now orbiting Earth, according to NASA. The buildup of this debris will someday seriously harm satellites and other spacecraft, possibly wiping out humanity on Earth. We need to start cleaning up our mess right away. Today's video has come to an end. Give the channel a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Remember to click the bell symbol to receive notifications when new videos are posted. I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye.